In this video, I'm gonna show you how to model vesicular elastic material in Abacus. I'm just using very simple 2D rectangle uh, FE model based on plane strain. Basically, the bottom surface of FE model will be fixed and we will apply strain function on the top surface. Strain function has the rising part, and sustaining part, and falling and sustaining part. For rising and falling event will be done within five seconds, and sustaining part will last uh, 50 seconds. I'm using one gigapascal and zero Poisson ratio for simplicity and 2700 for density like aluminum something and I'm using pronices based on time domain uh, G parameter and tau parameter basically I using two parameter then uh, we get the the FA result looks like this. Stress are varying with respect to time and obviously we have stress relaxation at the top su sustaining part and bottom sustaining part. The actually uh, stress relaxation uh, governed by this uh, mathematical equation. Stress will be uh, modulus times strain but at this time modulus will be varying with uh, time and parameter with uh, p and tau the actually the policies the parameter will explain this part the whole material property and strain function and result come from and compare the result from determining policies for physical lasting material from time bearing strain data and also technical report. To me this paper looks very good for uh, to figure out what physical lasting material and um, mathematical uh, expression for physical lasting material. Okay, we have simple FA result. For displacement, uh, we got the uh, from 0 to 0 0.01 displacement because we apply this load, right? And we have a uh, very simple result for logarithmic uh, vertical strain. It's almost 0 0.01 strain because we have the one by one uh, rectangular shape DFA and point one point zero one displacement and we also have the one by ten to the seven uh, vertical st stress this graph the uh, actually the analytical solution from the paper and the right hand side graph uh, from the FEA. If you compare two graphs, then the almost identical. So the our FE model is very good, even if we're using very uh, kind of coarse element. The four viscoelastic lasting material in Abacus, we we just have to use instantaneous option for elasticity and time domain and prony seeds for viscoelastic. elastic. And the parameter for prony should be uh, should be uh, based on the based on the, your real the test data.
we have to use dynamic impulsivity for viscoelastic problem. And also, I'm using four steps for our problem rise, sustain, fall, and sustain. For each step, uh, we have to a little bit adjust the maximum number and increment size. Of course, we have to use time period 5 seconds for rise load, falling load, and 50 seconds for the first sustaining part and second sustaining part. For load step, exactly the same way. We used four step rise, sustain, fall, sustain. But in this time, we apply the uh, displacement constraint. That's why we have to apply inactivation appropriately at each step, like this, like this, like this. Otherwise, you will get a very complicated wrong result. At each uh, boundary condition we have to use amplitude for example for a uh, rising part we have to use uh, from 0 to 1 for amplitude from 0 to 5 for time on the other hand for falling part we have to use from 1 to 0 for amplitude from 0 to 5 for time. For sustaining part, we just use uh, like this way. Okay, then we will just model FEA using Abacus. Instead of long term, we're going to use instantaneous Young's modulus 1 gigapascal. So 10 to the 9, we'll use 0.3 for Poisson ratio, 0 for Poisson ratio for the simplicity.
ズウィーツ。ジロゼロ。So we're gonna use the policies based on time domain.、Uh, the, G, the first G will be 0.2, the first tau will be 10, the second G will be 0.1. The second tau will be 100. Okay. Let's make a section. Homogeneous. Material one and. We're going to use a plain strain problem. Okay. And section assignment. In my part, done. Start point, end point. Okay. And, and making step. Actually, we, we're going to use the, the strain function, this、uh, boundary condition. So, make a step. Step one will be dynamic implicit.、Okay, dynamic implicit. Continue. Rising time. So within five seconds, turn on the nonlinear geometry and increment.、Uh, let's increase a little bit, maybe just point one. Final step will be、uh, sustain fifty second increment thousand seventeen point one one eight to the minus ten. Okay, let me check. Four increment. Okay. Sustain increment. Okay. There is no interaction node. Okay. And then let's make a mesh first.
just part two. You want to and rotation will be fixed. Placement okay. top surface down. You want you to vertical direction will be 0 0.01 and okay. Okay. Input power submitted. Okay. The abacus is burning right now. Okay, we're done. Let's review the result. Second, the bell will be 
looks like exactly what we want to the post north. Let's look at the stress relaxation. Okay, stress. Okay, stress component. Let's look at vertical component of stress. And this one should be exactly the same note. Business. Okay, we got the exact solution, like uh, an ethical solution on the papers. We have the first stress relaxation and second stress relaxation. See, we have the first stress relaxation and second stress relaxation. Okay, we're done.